Both teams were comprised of young and raw talented players. However, strength and fitness have been the determining factors during the 80 minutes of the game. The Engen franchise were the first to score with center Ryan Yamakiso, scoring back-to-back -back tries to put his team ahead with a 12-nil lead. Muruk's halfback and captain Joshua Molsi scored under the uprights in the 39th minute for his team to trail 12 points to 6 into the halftime. Minutes into the second half, Muruk scored 20 meters in from the Tarts to level the score at 12 all. The Timothy Lepper coach Miok's side retaliated with center Charlie Martin, running through the Muruk's right flank to score far out with the conversion unsuccessful. A vocal Miok side gave the visitors intense pressure as they struggled to execute the game plans, forcing many ball handling errors. Minutes later, Randy Joseph ran in another try for the Mukes to comfortably lead 22 points to 12. With 10 minutes remaining in the second half, the lighter Muruk side couldn't stop the rampaging Mukes attack as BJ Warren bulldozed through and grounded the ball behind the uprights. Charlie Simon converted four from five for his team to win 28 points to 12 at full time. In the earlier match, competition leaders lay Snakes Tigers were defeated 26 points to 20 by defending champions SNS Sport Mosby Vipers. This also broke the Tigers' unbeaten record during this year's competition. This weekend, the Enga Miocs will play O's to the Port Mosby Vipers at the Lay Rugby League ground, while the Lay Snakes Tigers take a bus ride up to Mount Hagen to play the Mount Hagen Eagles. Sylvester Gowie, National MTV News, Lay.